Julie Wolf and Bob Ullman again. Say hi, Bob. Hello. <laughs> We're going to help him with cleaning his list, his Skype contact list of pending friend requests, which I call pending pals, and those people that have not been online since forever. And that's what we're going to cover. We have loaded your X guy. In fact, we've got your settings so that it loaded itself, which was pretty fun to see that. Now we're going to do a filter. So you, you notice there's three sets of uh, menu items. There's these. A lot of stuff is in here, of course. And um, you know, and then there's these. This level, which is loading your contacts and. Anyway, you can, there's where you send a broadcast. We're not quite at that point yet. And then here's your filters. So right now, it says that you have 964 contacts, and you were surprised at that, weren't you? Yeah, I, I haven't followed how many I've had for, for a while. I, last time I looked at it, it's like five, 600. I know I get requests all the time. This is a common reaction. Probably a lot of them, maybe half, are people that you have not added or they have not added you back. Maybe you've sent a friend request because you've used uh, Message Magic in the past. But it's pending authorizations, pending friends that haven't either. One of you hasn't added each other back. So, huh? Fair weather, yeah, that never even took the time. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start a new filter to clean your list. So let's go with buddy status and you have to choose it, you have to check it and we'll say that these are pending authorizations and we have to name the filter so we're going to call it like I said pending pending pals. The, the beauty of this is that you can do this even after you've just added people because they've gotten your ad request and hopefully you've sent them a warm market message, which we talk about how to build a warm market Skype contact list instead of doing cold searches using a group extraction. So you send them a, a message, you send them an ad request. If you once you remove them, they can add you back. So it's fine to clean up your Skype. Oh yeah, and the reason we're doing this is because every time you get online, Skype checks to see. I'm going to select that. I'm going to apply here. The filter. Now look at your look at your checked before it finishes loading. See it says zero. So this is gonna this is gonna make your Skype run faster because Skype is gonna have to be looking for uh, 463 people that you guys have not added each other. It's usually quite large. So you're right. You have something more like 500. What's interesting is that you don't see anything happening in the big screen here, which I know you're not used to because you've never seen this before, but um, a lot of the things that we do, you're going to see a result here. When you apply a filter, the only thing you see is that you have 463 checked. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to do this. I'm expanding your all contacts <laughs> with Echo. I don't know why Echo got that's your test. So you're going to find that you're going to have all these online green. Anytime it's colored, I'm sure you already know this, that, uh, there's the aways, the people that are on away Skype status, and there's a few people on red, do not disturb. But look at all these people that are gray, which means one of two or three things. They're either offline or you're not their contacts. It can also mean they're on invisible status. But these are the people that the filter decided one of you haven't, hasn't added each other. And there's 463. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, instead of scrolling up, I'm going to use this uh, collapse all is just easier. Boom. So they're there. I'm going to uncheck all and reapply that filter in just a second. So we're putting that back to zero. So I'm checking all your contacts. See how that works? You don't even have to expand it to do anything. Checking the box checks all of them. And this says you have 959. Okay, Okay. so we're going to apply the Pending Pals filter again. Let's uncheck all. Now, we're, see, we just checked your all contacts, and they're checked. So before we do something like apply another action, take another action, we want to use this a lot. Uncheck all, check down here, zero checked. Okay, we're good to go. Now we're ready for another event.
Don't mess up your vents. Do them separately. Okay, boom. Pretty fast. 463 checked. But you don't see an event going on here. So what we want to do now is we want to take the checked users and we want to delete checked friends or pending pals in this case. Okay? Right, because I haven't been in touch with them anyway. Right. If, if they want to connect with you, it's not like you're blocking them. You know, and remember, we set your Skype settings so that uh, non-contacts can, can send you instant messages. And that's good if you, if you want to grow your list and you want to communicate before you add someone. <laughs> so I, I like it set that way. Anyways, they will be able to contact you if they come back online or have a reason. As soon as they do that, when you see that... Oh, really? Yeah. But it might have been one of those old ones. That right. So you can, as soon as they contact you back, any of these people, you just add them back. Yeah, and this just makes your Skype run smoother. See, the next video after, well, first we're going to, I'm going to finish this one off with an, we're also going to do an offline sense filter. I've been giving these, these trainings starting the week before they launched. And it seems like I'm in maybe my fifth or sixth week is when, when it launched. And he's constantly tweaking. And if you ever experience something funny, you could go to that help. And it says bug report. That will go directly to Jeff's Skype with you. Wow. And he gets all those bug reports and he keeps working on them. Yep. Jeff, yeah, the owner, the developer. I love the tool so much. So what I teach is to just send normal messages and engage people and build relationships and have your Skype profile set up. Yeah, that makes I don't assume anything. I, I get permission to send people re webinar reminders. I ask permission to send people funny videos. I, I like go over the... You're very polite with it and it's good. It's good. It's good. You, you, you do things the right way. This is deleted, by the way. They're all deleted.